Pearl Diver Anyone with at least some experience in scuba diving knows what a scuba regulator is. It features two stages. One is attached to the cylinder. The diver breathes through the other. Pearl Diver is also a scuba regulator, but a bit different. The position of the hose allows easy movement in the water as well as releasing bubbles towards the back of the diver's head, not to obstruct the view. If you've tried scuba diving, you know this could be a real issue. Pearl Diver also has a nice futuristic design and streamlined shape. However, not only divers who explore the underwater world would appreciate devices like that. They'd come in handy for hyperbaric welders who repair ships, pipelines, or offshore oil platforms. This is really challenging and dangerous work. First, you stay deep underwater. That is, there's always a risk of decompression sickness. Second, there's a risk of an electric shock for the welder. To avoid it, the equipment must be completely insulated. But even emergencies aside, there could be different consequences for health, the changes in muscles, bones. In short, not everyone is fit for this job. Exolung People will hardly grow gills in the next million years, but they don't have to because we already have exolung. Actually, it's an endless breathing device for diving, which doesn't rely on any external energy sources. All exolung needs is the movement of the swimmer plus a small buoy that stays on the surface. Extending and retracting the legs let the air into the device through the hose and from there to the lungs. You move, you breathe, you don't move. Well, the hose is quite short, only 16 feet long, so the diver can resurface quickly. And yeah, ExoLung weighs only 7.7 .7 pounds. Dive Portable Lungs This is another device for those who want to dive without fiddling around with heavy, bulky scuba gear. Dive Portable Lungs is a diving kit that fits easily into a backpack and includes a pump with a cylinder. The cylinder, as you already realized, is filled with oxygen through a hand pump. The oxygen supply will be enough for about half an hour underwater, so long and deep dives are not an option. But Dive Portable Lungs is more than enough for exploring some lake, the bottom of a river, or the sea near the coast. Most importantly, the cylinder can always be refilled. You just have to resurface and do a little pumping. Dive portable lungs would definitely come in handy for golf ball divers. On good golf courses, you can find reservoirs, including really deep ones, and the balls periodically end up there. And once the balls get lost, they need to get them back. This is what golf ball divers do. They dive into the water and recover everything that ended up there. Though each time, they have to take this giant cylinder with air, which can weigh 44 pounds on land. It'd be much easier to use a small kit, right? Waterproof Pouch Case the only thing missing to enable free diving at any time and in any place is a waterproof smartphone. Or at least a waterproof case so you can take devices and everything you need to almost any reasonable depth. Moreover, this particular case not only protects the smartphone from water, it allows you to use all its functions. Well, I mean, you probably won't be able to make a call from the seafloor, but taking photos is now easy. The material of the case has a nice feel to it and doesn't prevent the touchscreen from recognizing touches. The only downside is that Touch ID won't work in this case. Ocean Space Habitat Why not camp underwater? This thought prompted National Geographic researcher Michael Lombardi and New York University professor Winslow Burleson to create Ocean Space Habitat. What looks like a fun underwater tent is actually a portable life support system for divers. Imagine you have to spend a lot of time deep underwater, for example, to study a rare octopus. But diving with ordinary scuba gear is always inconvenient. Deeper dives mean less time on the seafloor because the human body absorbs air faster when it submerges deeper. Keep in mind, you still need to safely resurface, and not too fast. The underwater tent addresses all these issues. Ocean Space Habitat allows you to save air and hide from potential underwater dangers in an emergency shelter. Inside the tent, several divers can get into the dry chamber at the same time, take off their equipment, talk, eat, and even sleep while the tent slowly and safely rises to the surface. It also creates a dry and protected space to work underwater. Sort of like a diver's office where you can process some samples, set up your camera, and stuff like that. According to the official project website, there were even underwater tea parties in ocean space habitat. Well, why not? This tent works much like an air bubble. Such a bubble really helps to survive underwater, 
In 2013, Harrison Okene spent three days 100 feet deep when his tugboat sank. Okene was a ship cook and wasn't striving to become a conqueror of the depths, but the ship he was on sank to the bottom 20 miles off the coast of Nigeria. Everything happened too quickly and the rest of the crew died and an air pocket formed in one of the rooms. Okene headed there, simply hoped he'd be rescued. And he was. The rescuers saved the poor guy. After that, scientists estimated that a person has about 56 hours in an air bubble like that before the carbon dioxide toxicity kicks in. But this is just when the first symptoms appear. It'll take about 79 hours for a person to pass out. Luckily, rescue came to Okene early. Darkfin Durafin Gloves Enough about sad things, there are many more cool devices for scuba diving worth a look, like Darkfin Durafin Gloves. Webbed gloves made from a lightweight, non-absorbent material that provides a perfect grip on, well, pretty much anything you want to grab underwater. Surfers, divers, kayakers, and swimmers around the world love these gloves, and they increase hand surface by 70%. Perhaps even the Bajua people, the sea nomads, would appreciate these gloves. Bajua feel just as comfortable underwater as most people do on land. They walk on the seabed. They're in full control over their breathing and body. They spear fish on the first try, all this without any modern scientific inventions, even without wetsuits and flippers. Imagine what the Bajua will be capable of if they get all the devices mentioned in this video. Murfin While they'd hardly need Murfin, it's still a great option for those who want to feel like a mermaid. It's like a very light fin specially designed for smooth movement in the water. The manufacturer describes Murfin as a natural extension of the body. In case you ever dreamed your body would have a fin, the fins easily attach to the ankles with straps and can be easily removed if necessary. Subnado Of course, a mermaid fin will not grant a swimmer incredible speed, but there are other devices for this purpose, like Subnado, a compact underwater scooter. It weighs only 3 pounds, one charge is enough for an hour of work, and the scooter can accelerate up to 4.6 feet per second, provided that the swimmer weighs less than 143 pounds. And if you use two devices at the same time, the speed will increase to 6.5 feet per second. There are quite a few ways of attaching Subnado. You can fix the scooter on your legs or even on a surfboard. And when the device is on your arm, it's controlled by a ring on the finger. Today, it may seem there are many devices like that on the market, but in the 1965 movie Thunderball, the fourth one in the Bond saga, the underwater scooter was part of incredible spy technology. It certainly looked bulkier, but the way it works is pretty much the same. Just think about it, it's only been 50-something years, but you can already buy a secret spy gadget online in just a couple of clicks. New Grip 4-in-1 if you've ever looked at all these beautiful underwater shots and thought, these are impossible without professional equipment, then you simply haven't heard about the floating tripod. The New Grip 4-in-1 is a hand grip, a mini tripod, and a 22-inch long selfie stick combined. And when flipped over and lowered into the water, it'll float on the surface, allowing you to capture the underwater world. The entire tripod weighs only 0.3 pounds. What can you film with it? Well, the migration of crabs. This is certainly an impressive scene if you want to observe without any distractions. In this case, a floating tripod is a perfect option. Diveroid The most important thing in underwater filming is the camera that wouldn't fail. And Diveroid is up to the challenge. It lets you turn your smartphone into an affordable diving computer with the functionality of a compass and logbook combined in one device, plus the ability to take photos. Diveroid also monitors all the essential indicators measures the depth, duration of the dive, water temperature, and ascending speed. It then displays this information on the smartphone screen in a special app. This app even alerts you if you dive too deep, though it probably won't warn you about an approaching shark. Shark Bands For this purpose, a special shark-deterring device was designed. Shark Bands is a band that targets very sensitive electroreceptors of sharks. When a shark approaches a person wearing shark bands, the magnetic waves emitted by the band agitate the receptors the same way that a sudden light turned on in the dark irritates a person. Sharks, of course, are not happy about this and prefer to stay away from humans. Shark bands uses magnetic technology so it doesn't need to be charged, comes in a one-fits-all size, while it also passed different tests. 
Even Barack Obama wore this band while on vacation in Hawaii to protect himself. Though he hardly got any money for promoting this product, 